I can still remember when I bought my first guitar Remember just how good the feeling was Put it proudly in my car And my family listened for 50 times To my two-song repertoire And I told my mum her only son was gonna be a star Oh, it was the only son, yeah. Yeah, the first third of it would be totally true and then after that I'd change it a little bit. Oh, I'd just buy in the old, old guitar and probably driving the family mad with playing the same song over and over again. Bought all the Beatle records Sounded just like Paul Bought all the old Chuck Berries 78s and all And I sat by my record player Playing every note they played after I had a big hit here with a thing called Bonnie, Please Don't Go, then signed with an American publishing recording company, and two years went past after a number one record as a recording artist. Two years had gone by and I hadn't recorded anything because I was waiting for them. So I was a little bit disenchanted with it all at that stage. And driving home, I got the idea of giving someone the best years of my life. And then, uh, uh, then I thought, well, I'll make it closer to the truth, the pursuit of success or and all of the things that went with that, um, and so that's how the song came about. Rock and roll, I gave you all the best years of my life, all the dreamy sunny Sundays, all the moonlit summer nights that were so busy in the back, writing love songs to you while you were changing your direction, never even knew that I was always just one step behind you. As soon as it was released for me in America and made the charts in America for me. And then it uh, was had a lot of success with many, many versions. And then a couple of years later, it was picked up again by um, UK Records in, in, the, uh, in the UK and uh, released again, and the whole thing started again. So the next time it was a hit for Mac Davis. Uh, I'm not sure which run was a hit for the Cats. It was the first or the second time. I'm not sure. but. Uh, they certainly had a big version with it. All rock and roll again. Don't miss the old and novelty. Das erlebte ich mein Leben so magic. Hallo, den Turin, se casa del. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, the moon. Turn piggy cop on me that pocket. I never even knew. Rock and roll, I gave you all the best years of my life. Dreamy sunny Sundays, all the moonlit summer nights. I was so busy in the back room, writing love songs to you while you were changing your direction. You never even knew that I was always just one step behind you. One of the best versions by far. Um, there are a number of reasons why I wrote that particular song. One was because, um, obviously, it was part, the first third of it was totally true, and overall it was to a certain extent true. But I also uh, based it on, as I said, somebody who may have aspired to anything, um, who never quite made it. And she followed me through London, through a hundred hotel rooms, through a hundred record companies, who didn't like my tune. Followed me when finally I sold my old guitar. And she tried to help me understand and never be a star. It was a little bit to do with the Australian scene at that time. To me, they were always like one step behind the rest of the world. Uh, wherever it was happening, they were always there, but a little bit later. So it was a little uh, offhanded remark in there as well that. that why I wrote the song. Do, 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 do. I always thought it had the capacity to uh, reach a big audience, but one can think about that way about every song you write, and you write 100 songs, but they're not all as successful as that one. So, um, you know, uh, I thought it had the capacity to reach a lot of people because there was a lot of people's story. Not just success or failure in rock and roll or music, but uh, anything that you try and don't quite get as far as you want to, but still had a good time trying. You know. And I will always be one step behind you.